When one goes out fishing, you would expect to catch a few fish, am I right? Most of the time, everything doesn't go as planned and you go home with nothing. But sometimes someone catches something so epic and made it to this list. Probably the highest accolade a fisherman can get. But, well, aside from cash prize, of course. Today we're going to be talking about 10 of the craziest things ever caught. Number 10. The Blue Marlin. Guy Kiteoka of Hawaii was out fishing on his 20-foot vessel, the Danya, fully expecting to be just a normal fishing trip. That was until he reeled in a 1,368-pound blue marlin. It is the largest blue marlin caught off Kona in 23 years, and is only 8 pounds shy of the world record. That record is a 1,376-pound blue caught off Kona in 1982. Unfortunately, Kiteoka was using an electric reel, so even if the fish had been 9 pounds heavier, it could not have qualified as a world record. However, the catch is no less impressive, considering that many captains in Kona, whose water attract the world's largest Pacific blue marlin, were starting to wonder whether the world record was still within reach. Kiteoka and his captain, Dero Amori, were fishing in an area teeming with large tuna. Since giant marlin often feed on schooling tuna, Kiteoka used a live skipjack tuna as bait. According to longtime Hawaii fishing writer Jim Rizzuto, the billfish nearly stripped all the line from an electric reel designed to shorten the fight time with powerful game fish. Had Amori not chased the fish with the boat, it would have escaped. Number 9. The Wolffish. After the Fukushima nuclear disaster, fishermen in the area tell tales of massive and mutant beasts which have been spotted in the ocean near where the toxic tragedy happened. One prehistoric-looking wolffish was even caught by a professional fish hunter after he went looking for one of the giants. Hirosaki Hiroshi reeled in the monstrous creature during a trip to Hokkaido, Japan, this being Japan's second largest island, near eastern Russia. Normally, the deep-sea species grow up to three feet in length, but the horror Hiroshi landed was more than six feet long and weighed five times more than usual. Because of the sheer size of the catch, many locals believed the sea beast could be a result of fallout from the disaster. Honestly, coming from a country that gave us Godzilla, why people believe in such things is understandable. Number 8. A Giant Alligator When the Stokes family went out on a family gator hunt on the Alabama River one fine day in 2011, they never ever thought that they would set a world record. Later in the day, they were able to pull a 14-foot, 2-inch alligator, which was the biggest one that they were able to catch. Little did they know that their gigantic catch was big enough to get into the record books. They brought their catch to the check-in station at Roland Cooper State Park near Camden in Wilcox County. At first, wildlife and freshwater fisheries biologists had no trouble measuring the bees at 15 feet even, but they had to call for some help when trying to weigh it. Their first attempt completely destroyed the winch assembly used to easily hoist most average gators. Enlisting the assistance of a park backhoe to lift it, a WFF biologist officially called the weight in at 1,011.5 pounds. Those dimensions easily make the Stokes Gator the biggest ever killed in Alabama. It beat the previous world record, a 14-foot, 8-inch, 880-pound alligator killed in Chalk Creek near Lufkin, Texas by Justin Wells of Bossier City, which was only just set a few months prior. Number 7. Giant Goliath Grouper The Giant Goliath Grouper, as the name suggests, is a massive fish that can grow up to more than 8 feet in length and can weigh up to 800 pounds. These are some pretty tasty fish. Tasty enough to get overfish in the southern United States, and they were considered for listing under the Endangered Species Act. These fish are so big that they're known to swallow sharks whole. Reported back in 2018, fishermen in Florida were trying to reel in a three-foot shark when all of a sudden, a huge grouper came along and swallowed the entire shark. The fishermen then tried to reel in the grouper with the shark still in its mouth, until the grouper got tired and decided to spit out the shark. The same grouper, obviously still quite hungry, even tried to swallow a manta ray that very same day. Number 6. The Calico Lobster. Lobsters are delicious, but then again, there are some lobsters that look too good to eat. Case in point are the rare Calico Lobsters. Their beautifully patterned shell is mainly just for show. Its meat doesn't taste any better than your regular garden variety lobsters, but then why do people who catch them feel very reluctant to chuck them in a pot of boiling water? Well, like I said, they're very rare. Pokemon Shiny Rare. So rare, in fact, that the chances of you catching one is about 1 in 50 million. But against all odds, Coleco Lobsters have been caught, especially off the coast of Maine. Most are lucky to be spared and end up being mascots of some sort. 
One particular lobster caught by Lobster Man Anthony Bellinger became quite the online celebrity when it was caught back in 2018. He was given the name Friendly Krueger, a reference to the horror movie character Freddy because its colors are Halloween-like and it has claws. But it was a female, so she's now in the safekeeping of the National Aquarium. But believe it or not, there's an even rarer lobster out there, and that is number five. The Albino Lobster. An albino lobster is actually one of the rarest things you can catch in the ocean. According to the Maine Lobsterman's Community Alliance, the chances of catching an albino lobster is one in a hundred million. In short, you're more likely to get struck by lightning and win the lottery than to catch one of these nearly translucent crustaceans. They do get caught from time to time, though, like with Mike Billings, who caught one off the coast of, again, Maine. The lobster is almost too beautiful to eat, and it luckily won't be boiled up anytime soon, much to my discontent. Billings told the local newspaper that the lobster was too small to catch, so he threw it back in the ocean, but not before taking a few snapshots and posting them online. Number 4. The Black Marlin When Australian fisherman Bob Crane and his crew caught a monstrous black marlin off the coast of Queensland, Australia back in 2018, he never expected the social media backlash that it would garner. This absolute monster of a fish weighed about 1,433 pounds, and it took him two hours to reel in. When he finally caught it, Crane and his crew took the black marlin to shore in order to check whether they beat the previous world record catch of 1,558 pounds. Sadly, though, the fish died, which resulted in the said social media criticisms. Most black marlins caught in Australia are tagged and released, obviously to protect the species. However, Crane and his crew insisted that the fish didn't die during transport, but rather while Crane was fighting to get it on board his boat. Number 3. The Wells Catfish The Wells Catfish, also called the Sheepfish, is a species of large catfish native to wild areas of central, southern, and eastern Europe. They're found in the basins of the Baltic, Black, and Caspian Seas. It has been introduced to Western Europe as a prized sport fish and is now found from the UK east to Kazakhstan in China and south to Greece and Turkey. In some areas of the world, it's sometimes considered a nuisance fish. Most Wells catfish are around 5 feet long and weigh around 44 pounds, but there are records of even bigger specimens being caught. Possibly the biggest one caught by rod and reel was landed by fisherman Benjamin Grunder in the River Po in Italy in 2018. It was measured in at 8 feet 8 inches and had an estimated weight of about 286 pounds. According to Grunder, he spotted the large fish about 21 times in the river for a span of a year, before he was finally able to land it. He had actually hooked the same fish a few months prior, but the fish was so large he had to give up and cut the line. Number 2. The Pike with Horns Pike are fish that are both caught commercially and for sport. They're recognized by the elongated bodies, small scales, long head, shovel-like snout, and large mouth armed with strong teeth. In other words, they look like any normal fish. That is until one fisherman in the Omsk region of Siberia caught a couple of pike that looked a little bit different than normal. The fisherman, going only by the name Alexei, knew at once that the 26-pound pike that he caught definitely weren't normal. Why is that? Well, it's because it had two prehistoric-looking horns sticking out of the top of its head. That's why. Even weirder, he also caught a smaller 15-pounder, but this one had four horns on its head. When he posted the photos online, people immediately jumped to the conclusion that he caught of those legendary sea dragons that are said to swim in the same waters the pike were caught. However, legendary sea dragon or not, that didn't stop Alexei from gutting and eating the fish, much to the horror of everybody else. He did preserve the heads, though, and they are now displayed proudly in his garage. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Square Grouper. The waters off the coast of Florida are home to diverse wildlife. When you go out fishing here, you'll never know what you're gonna get. I mean really, it is Florida. That's exactly what happened to George Bustamante, who went out on a birthday fishing trip looking for kingfish or mahi-mahi. Well, he did catch something, all right. A catch infinitely more interesting and downright illegal. What came up on his hook wasn't a fish, but a small, tightly wrapped square bundle of marijuana. Of course, George immediately notified the authorities of his unusual catch, but not before taking a few selfies and posting them on Instagram even tagging his catch humorously as an early birthday gift from Pablo Escobar. 
Floridians are used to news like these. Everyone knows of the various drug dealings happening on land and even out at sea. This occurrence seems so common that they even have a nickname for the package, calling it a square grouper. Do you have any amazing fishing stories? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to watch more crazy videos? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody!